Problem four, looks like a lot of information, but it's very simple. Cecil starts with $100. So you know right off I have $100. His neighbor gives him D dollars for mowing. So if he gives me D dollars, do I add D or subtract D? Well, he gave me D dollars. So I now have $100 of my own plus whatever my neighbor gave me for mowing his grass. But here's the problem. I had to spend, in other words, take away, spending $3 on each gallon of gas. If G represents how many gallons he buys at $3 per gallon, what expression represents how much I have left? Well, I know right now I have $100 plus the D dollars my neighbor gave me. And then I need to subtract whatever I spent for gas. Well, how much did you spend for gas? Well, let's assume I bought four gallons. Well, that's three times four, $12. What if I bought 10 gallons? Three times 10. So whatever it is, it's three times how many ever gallons G that I bought. And that would represent the total amount I have left. I had a hundred. They then gave me D dollars for being a great guy mowing the yard. And then they subtract, I have to subtract $3 times how many ever gallons of gas I buy. Number five, evaluate absolute value. So it's negative five times whatever the absolute value we get in here. So we know our answer is going to be negative because it's going to be negative five times some positive number because the absolute value means make your final answer here inside these brackets positive. What number are we plug in? We'll plug in negative five into that A. So it's negative two times negative five minus one. Well, we have to evaluate multiplication first. That's 10. So it's the absolute value of 10 minus one times a negative five. So negative five times, what is this? This just gives you nine. What's the absolute value of nine? Nine. And we end up with negative 45 as our answer. And finally, problem six, solving for a variable. We know we need to get the number over with the other side right off. I'm going to subtract five from both sides. That gives me N divided by negative six equals lose two, lose five more. You've lost seven. Now, how do we undo dividing? We multiply by negative six. Multiply by negative six. Do it to both sides. Goes away here. N equals negative times negative is positive. And seven times six, 42.